perhaps it is the superficial tendency that is running rampant in this age of self-promotion and reality shows with their brief glimpse into something that the audience can then sit back and judge, feeling superior to other people for no other reason than to feel superior to other people. And before you think that my problem here is that what we watch in television today can be garbage, no. My problem is that this extends to so many areas of life today, including politics. And we cannot afford to believe that some ideas and some people are 100% good or 100% evil. Today, political ads are often attacks on the opposing candidate, and any politics are vague and or solely sound positive. In everything, we have to realize, we have to accept there will be both good and bad. And it is especially vital in politics. Democracy cannot survive if we buy into the easy solutions. Consider this. Hitler won power by offering easy solutions, by appealing to the lowest common denominator. He actually did, part of the way, use democracy to gain power. And it wasn't because the German people were evil. If you insist on attaching some label to them, try Christian. They were largely Christian. So what Ever political affiliation you have, whoever you choose to support, dig deeper. Whenever they say that they will solve this or that problem, try to look into if they actually say how. Try to think about what their solution might entail or what else it might affect. And the next time you hear someone insult someone by naming off their political affiliation by simply repeating the truth. Try to think about why that actually works on some people. Don't just join the pack in rejecting this person or this idea. In fact, good ideas come from originally bad ideas sometimes. Maybe the idea just takes adjusting. Instead of throwing it away, think about if there is something to it that you like. Something that could one day be a truly excellent idea. And if you feel you need some examples of things that have both good and bad to them, then sure. The sun can be pleasant to feel the rays of on your skin, but if you stay too long, you'll get skin cancer. Exercise takes effort and can be tough, but it also keeps you in shape and is an effective way to lose weight. Stuff that tastes really good probably isn't healthy for you. Stuff that is healthy for you probably tastes pretty bad. Sunny days are nice, but if we never had darkness, we wouldn't be able to sleep without rooms that are sealed off from the light completely. It can be annoying to have to sleep, but a good night's rest gives you new energy. Computers can be fun, but they crash, especially if they're on Windows. And in general, almost everything that on the surface looks entirely good or entirely bad will reveal to have some of the other quality to it as well.